Welcome back, Changemakers. This is the third in a series that answers the question, what type of changemaker are you? And today it's gonna to be all about the implementer. So if you like what you hear, if some of the things that I say in this video sound familiar, listen out for the tips and some of the ideas which will make you an even better implementer. Let's get started. Okay, so what is an implementer? It's part of the GC index, it's part of that system that helps us understand how we make our best impact and how we like to contribute, whether that's in a team, whether it's to a community project, doesn't really matter in what circumstances, but an implementer is an incredibly reliable person. In fact, implementers are well known for their ability to just drive change. Without implementers, a lot of change remains just as an idea in someone's head. But if that idea can be clarified, the implementer loves to pick that up and run with it. Essentially, the implementer likes to take your plan and make it happen. So you can imagine just how valuable these people are inside a change-making team. And the final thing I want to say about an implementer up front is they are great at problem solving because they have this sheer determination to make change happen, to bring to life the things that you've got in your head and they're now equally excited about. They love to work through problems and don't get daunted by setbacks. So in terms of their value to others, as you can imagine, they're an incredible role model when it comes to the implementation phase of your project. They have real focus and as I said, they love to solve problems. So what they become in those environments, and if this is you, you will know you've got a reputation of being a safe pair of hands. So what are the skills of the implementer? Well, as the name suggests, they get things done. They implement incredibly well. And another big skill that people rely on an implementer for is to make decisions. Because they have this desire to keep moving forward, they don't get hung up when there's a decision to make. And in fact, the quicker they can make that decision, the happier they are. And the point about the problem solving is they're very, very good at identifying the workarounds. So if you have implementers in your team and you're quite rule bound, just be aware that if those rules aren't helping, if they're stopping progress, they will be finding ways to work around it. And you may not just be aware, but on a more positive level, they're really good at finding the workarounds that get us where we would like to be. So what are the values? of an implementer. I think it all comes back to a real pragmatism. In time management terms, we talk about Pareto's law, the notion that 80% is good enough when it comes to the quality and the finish on something. The extra 20% is what the polisher's after, but the implementer, 80% is good enough as far as they're concerned. And again, as the name suggests, it's all about deeds rather than words for the implementer. So if you're trying to influence an implementer, make sure that you're talking actively. You're talking about the things that are being done, the things that maybe need their support with. You're not just talking hypothetically in your head all about the possibilities and the imagination. You've grounded that. And implementers are really grounded people. So if this is sounding a bit like you, let me tell you about a few challenges I've noticed some of my implementer clients have had and some of the things that we work through when we're coaching or we're in a sort of team building situation. The first is they sometimes act too quickly. And by that, I mean, the group hasn't necessarily come to a conclusion and the implementer's already done something that was just an idea a few minutes ago. You see, to the implementer, that idea maybe clicked and it created some clarity and they thought, yes, I can do that. But for the person maybe expressing it, it might have just been a development of an idea as opposed to the final position they wanted to get to. So be careful if you're that implementer, that you've got clarity and authority from the team to make that next step. Because the other thing implementers sometimes struggle with is aligning the people around them. Because they're very good at just doing things and take on a lot of responsibility, they sometimes do that in a bit of a silo and they're not necessarily looking out into who else can help, who else can develop by getting some practice doing the things that the implementer just seems to get on with. And you can imagine for some of those less experienced people or the people who don't know that you just like to do things, they may feel that that's a bit uncaring. So that's just a little watch out. But just like the other change makers we discussed, the game changer and the playmaker, it's all about intention. So what's the implementer's intention? Well, it's really simple. It's to get things done. The implementer loves a checklist. 
They love to be able to see the progress they've made and see very tangible results and outcomes. So the intention of the implementer is to literally be that bundle of energy we need to make change happen. So if any of that describes you, I hope that's helpful. If you'd like to know more about the Playmaker or the Game Changer, check out the playlist and have a look at the video that's recommended. Remember to like and subscribe if you found this useful and I'll see you here again next week. Take care.